October halftime, obviously one of the busiest for our tourism spots. So how's it looking this year? Martin Cox is Managing Director of West Dorset Leisure Holidays, which has five holiday parks, including Bridport and Bird and Bradstock. Uh, what's the half-term prospects looking for you, uh, looking like for you at the moment? Uh, good morning. Good morning, uh, Martin. The, the, half, the half-term is looking, uh, looking good for us. Um, the, the, the bookings have come in. We're probably about 10% ahead of a, of a normal year. I think that is the um, people keen to have a holiday after the problems in the early part of the year with the lockdown. Have you got any families booked from Liverpool? Uh, no, no. Um, we, we're obviously actively checking daily against the uh, Tier 3 and the other lockdown areas to make sure we don't have any bookings. Um, but we're, we're relatively fortunate that, that for the half-term week, the majority of our, our guests come from the Tier 1 area, so they travel a shorter distance. Yeah, bars, restaurants, you'll have those at the holiday parks. Yes, the bar and the restaurant is the most difficult to manage. Um, the, the, uh, there's still a, a very much a lack of customer confidence to go into the bar. And uh, obviously we're running at a much lower number of covers and the difficulties of social distancing. If, if there was a lockdown, as has been announced for Northern Ireland, a circuit breaker, what would the impact be on your business? Well, obviously, as a as a main topic of conversation at the moment in our sector, um, it, it's a huge fear that the uh, that, that, that if that happened, um, we would have to manage the situation similar as we did in March. Um, we would obviously lose that trade. Um, many businesses are still suffering um, with loss of income. Um, we cannot recover the forty percent we lost in the in the initial lockdown. So the loss of the income over half term will be a disaster for many people in tourism. In, in your line of business, Martin, you've got to be so positive for most of the time. You've got to elude positivity for, for those coming to visit your lovely parks. Uh, it must be a challenge for you to do that at the moment. It's a big challenge. The half term is the last opportunity to take to take money, you have to have staff available to serve those people. Um, all the tourism businesses surrounding our area, which make up the people's holiday experience, have to be ready for the for the half term, and and we have to be upbeat, and we have to be looking forward also to 2021. Although there's obviously a lot to worry about, and there will be a lot of uncertainty. Finally, it's so difficult, isn't it? Some people, if, if they if they can afford a, a little break over half term. Would love to have one. Do we book one with everything that's going on in the world, in the news at the moment? It, it's such a, a balancing act, isn't it? What would what would you say as the owner of holiday parks to to parents maybe who who want just a few days just to get away from everything? Well, we 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 we, we rejigged our, our sort of um, cancellation plan, and we have a COVID safe um, arrangement. Um, as a family, we, we, we undertake to refund uh, deposits and balances should people be unable to come because of a of a lock of a, of a lockdown or a change in the government policies. And I think we have to do that going forward to give those families the confidence to book. And uh, it'd be very important throughout 2021 to have that underlying guarantee. Good to hear from you this morning. I, I wish you and everyone in your industry well, Martin. I, I know it's such a worrying time at the moment, but uh, I, I just hope and pray you can come through this. Thank you very much. You're very Thank welcome. You. Martin Pleasure. Cox, Managing Director of West Dorset Leisure Holidays. Five holiday parks they have.